for the inside, outside, and DMV. Okay, we go to the Cisco SA. Okay, then um, set the security level also for the interface inside. Okay, then we go back, we go to this interface. Okay, interface is the net zero slab one. Okay, speed. Okay, speed port access VLAN one. Okay, we assign port this port to the VLAN one. Okay. Okay, and then we go to the interface outside. Okay, so interface is in as row plus. Okay, interface will then to okay, so IP at 203.1.1.2.2.2.0. Okay, then no start. Now if outside. Okay, so you to the board. Zero. Okay, and then go back. We have to assign this port to the interface VLAN 2. Okay, speed port access VLAN 2. Okay. Okay, and then uh, we assign IP and security level and name if on the interface inside, outside already. Okay, and then we go to the Cisco ISP and assign IP also. Case IPA two zero three dot one dot one dot one. Okay, and then no sharp. Okay, go to this in the first in the first fast is a nice row long one IPA eight or eight or eight or one two five or two five or two five or zero. Okay, no sharp. This okay, and then you can testing from the Google to the this IP is working or not. You make sure it's working. working. Okay, it's working. Okay, uh, the first step we already to configure. Okay, and then we go to the step two. Configure the ACP, the ACP server and the NS server on Cisco ASA. Okay, and this is a step two we have to do. Okay, I'm go to the Cisco ASA. Okay. Okay, I'm set the rank dot five to the one seven dot two dot one six dot one dot six. Okay. Okay, this is the IP rank. Must to send to the client PC. Okay, I'm then go to the PC zero. Okay, obtain the IP. PC1. Okay, obtain the IP. Okay, and then go to PC2 and configure the ACP server. Okay, the ACP address. Okay, set rank. Okay, this rank. Okay, and then inside. Okay, and uh, DNS server. The NS eight 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 eight. Okay, first inside. Okay, and then you can make sure it correct or not. So, okay, okay, and then you go to the PC zero and check the IP. Okay, okay, you can see. Okay, this is the IP that assigned from the DHCP server on the Cisco ASA. Okay, go to the PC zero. Okay, you can see also the the ACP server request successfully. Okay, and then you can go to the uh, the PC zero and testing pin to the gateway. Okay, the gateway inside. 
Okay, it's working. Let's see one. Okay, for the step two, it already. Okay, we go to the step three. Configure, configure the four rounds. Four round on Cisco ASA and dynamic. Run on Cisco. Okay, ASP. We use OSPA. Okay. OSPA one. Okay, for the step three, we have to configure that the uh, default run on the Cisco. ASA and dynamic run on the uh, ISP we use uh, OSPA. Okay, we go to the Cisco ASA and configure the full run. Okay, this is the command for the configure the full run. You just type run and outside and 0 dot 0 dot 0 then 0 dot 0 dot 0 you can and net home address or IP default gateway. Okay, you can use this gateway. 20.3.1.1 Okay, this is on the, uh, the uh, common default route. Okay, and then you can go to the ISP router and configure dynamic route or SPI. Okay, I'm go to the Okay, and then sit Okay and Tie router or SPI Okay, one. Okay, and then network. Okay, I'm at the time this network. Dot zero. Swakhat mask. Dot zero. Dot Wi-Fi. Area zero. Okay, one more at the time this network. Zero. Dot. Swakhat mask. Area zero. Okay. Okay, for the step three already to configure the four route and dynamic route on the Cisco ISP. Okay, for the step four, step four we have to create the object network and and the boner. Okay, create object network. Object network and and the board. Now, okay, this is a step four we have to do. Okay, and then I'm click on the PC zero and go to configure and create the object network. Okay, now I'm on the configuration. Okay, you can try common object. Okay, this is a syntax for the create the object okay, object network. Okay, and then you can set the name of the object network. For me, I'm set LAN. Okay, and then subnet. Okay, we do subnet in IP rank local inside. Dot zero to the right of two five dot two five dot zero. Okay, after you create the object network and subnet network. Okay, and then you can type human enable NAS. NAS. Okay, and then outside. Okay, dynamic interface. Okay, this is this is a command that we enable now. Okay, in the Cisco ASA. Okay. okay, and already for the step four. Okay, and the step five. Okay, we have to uh, create the cellist. Create list follow this network okay follow this LAN and network asset to the outside yes. okay for a cell list I'm just the name of a cell list okay. 
Okay, now I'm trying to print. Okay, before I'm configure and create that silly, I'm print to the Google. Working or not? Okay. We not yet to working because we not yet to create the assembly allow the land to the outside. Okay, and for the PC also. Okay, not yet to work access. Not yet to working. Okay, and then I'm go to the assembly. Configure assembly. This is the name tag. For the create the service, I'm use the name of the service. You can see a service and identify. Okay, I'm use uh, I'm type the name example for me in to internet. It's mean inside to the internet. Okay, this is the name of the service. Okay, and extend it. Permit IP. Okay, TCP. And me okay hello all okay and then I'm um, copy this name because easy to call now the cell is okay one more okay permit I see um please and this and this okay okay can try check the thing okay not yet too because because you not yet to type one command for enable and call the cell list. Okay, you have to use one more command. Yes, cell list access group. Okay, and then you can pass the name of the cell list. Okay, and in okay in the first outside. Okay, okay you have to see. When um the enter this command, you will to see. Okay. Okay. Um enter. You will to see is in this PC working. You see, it's working. This is the last command that you have to call the assembly into interface outside. If you not yet to uh, call this in uh, this command line, okay, the in the user cannot access to the outside. This command is very important. You have to add in into the interface outside okay and then i'm go to the piece pc one okay it's working also okay and the last step i want to show you how to verify that okay. verify not it working or not okay verify not you just type comments so it's a let So it's left. Okay, you can go to Cisco ISA and hide this command. So it's select. Okay, you need to see. Mm -hmm. ICMP inside to outside from this IP. Okay, IP. Okay, this IP. Mm -hmm. To the outside from the public IP. Then you can show not okay. You can show not okay. Try to hit 258 okay. So it's a again. 
here is easy command for verify not when you see like this it mean not it's working okay okay in this video it's finished i hope you all of you understand about this video and don't forget follow my configuration and test thing to lab by yourself okay follow step by step for me and you can just watch my video i think you can do it like me okay thank you for watching my channel and my video okay don't forget help me to like share and subscribe my channel cisco my landing or cisco dragon okay thank you for watching